This human girl, who was pregnant with a vampire child, could not harness the great power of the fetus and became very thin. Her belly was very large when she was one month pregnant. She was so thin that she could not support the growth rate of the fetus and even broke her tailbone and the placenta came off. The crowd immediately helped her deliver the baby. But before the anesthetic could take effect, Bella urged them to start quickly, because she knew she wouldn't last long at all. The vampire who delivered the baby almost lost control when he saw the blood. Alice stopped it in time and had to let Edward deliver the baby himself. Eventually, the baby was born safely, but Bella also died from the difficult labor. Looking at Bella, who was not breathing, Edward was completely panicked. He immediately injected his own blood into Bella's body and kept tearing at Bella's body, hoping that Bella could be transformed into a vampire by himself to wake up. But unfortunately, Bella did not respond at all. Looking at his dead wife, Edward's mind appeared memories of their time together, and he even wished he had never met Bella, much less fallen in love with her. But that was the case. As a vampire, he has a handsome face and cold temperament that ordinary people do not have, which makes Bella, who has just transferred to the school, fall in love at first sight. Edward, who has lived for over 100 years, is also attracted to human girls for the first time, never attracted to human blood. He saw Bella and began to move. This action makes Bella very suspicious, and she even suspected that she smells bad. However, what is even more exaggerated is that before the class is over, Edward runs out with the look of not being able to resist. This time Bella completely doubted herself and did not want to take care of Edward anymore. But often fate is like that. After school Bella tried to drive home when a commercial car suddenly lost control and came towards her. The car had a huge dent and Bella was stunned. Before she could react, Edward turned around and left. Because of this incident the two became closer and closer. Under the daily life together the two quickly fell in love and soon established a relationship. However, after a period of time together, Bella felt that Edward was particularly mysterious. She opened the computer. According to Edward's characteristics search up, he was powerful when he saved Bella's life, and his skin felt cold when he was touched. All of these characteristics were extremely similar to vampires. In order to verify her suspicions, she found Edward for verification. Bella told all her reasoning. In the face of Bella's questioning, Edward did not explain, but admitted that he was a vampire and then showed Bella the most real side of himself. He picks up Bella and rushes to the top of the hill at lightning speed, then slowly walks out into the sunlight. Under the sunlight, Edward's skin became glistening and dazzling like a diamond. Then he told Bella that their family was vegetarian and fed on animal blood. They had superb self-control, enough to curb their desire for human blood, until Bella appeared, to keep Bella from being hurt. He wants Bella to leave him, but instead of being afraid, Bella believed that Edward would not hurt himself. After all these things, the two became stronger in their relationship. They are lying quietly on the lawn. The picture is beautiful to the extreme. When the sun shines down, Edward's face emits a dazzling light. In the blink of an eye, it was time for the two of them to meet their parents. Bella originally thought the vampire's home would be as eerie as the legends, full of coffins. But when they arrived, they realized that it was a simple, bright, Modern villa with high school graduation caps all over the walls. Forever 17 years old, he has not known how many times he has graduated. Edward's family was very welcoming. They, who never ate human food, even cooked Italian food specifically for Bella. After formally meeting them, Edward took Bella to visit his room. Bella came to the room was surprised that the bedroom did not even have a bed. Edward explained that he does not need to sleep 24 hours. Put a bed in the bedroom is obviously superfluous. He then took Bella to climb the tree and travel freely in the forest. A baseball game was also held in the afternoon. Looking at the superpowers they exerted, Bella was even a little envious. Just then, three alien vampires who were hunting suddenly appeared. They also caught the scent of humans. These are three vampires who have lived for 1,000 years. While they were hunting, they intruded into the Edward family's territory. The Edward family immediately surrounds the human Bella in the middle, because Bella is a great meal for the alien vampires who feed on human blood. Three see the same vampire family want to join the race with them, in order not to miss the boat. The Edwards family had to agree to their request, but just as John and Victoria were making preparations, a breeze blew in and Jack instantly caught the scent of a human. His name, the family instantly shielded Bella behind them, saying that this human was their family. After a tense glance at each other, John said he did not want to make enemies with them, 
and the two partners rushed away, but Edward Sens, who has the ability to read minds, knows that Jack will never give up, he is a chase master, very evil and most like the excitement. Several recent cases of human attacks are his work. Edward immediately took Bella home to pack his bags, intending to go out to hide, in order to keep her father out of harm's way. Bella and her father had a big fight and told him to go to her mother's house. Unexpectedly, John comes to the door and kindly reminds them that they must be careful of Victoria, who is the most evil enemy of all. Edward gathered the family members and had some of them send Bella away first, while he himself put on her clothes to distract the enemy. Sure enough, Jack followed him according to the gas, but soon he realized that he was trapped and stopped the pursuit. Alice saw that Jack would appear in a room according to her precognitive ability and drew him out. When Bella sees it, she realizes that it is the same classroom where she danced as a child. Just then her mother calls, and the voice on the other end of the line turns out to be Jack. He tells Bella to come to the dance class by herself if she wants her mother to be safe. With that, Bella secretly drove to the classroom by herself. But when she arrived, she found that her mother was not here at all, and it was all a plot by Jack. He used the voice from her mother's previous video to trick her into coming. Knowing the truth, Bella wanted to leave quickly, but it was too late. At that moment Jack was standing behind her, 